All right, sure now we have done. another problem. Now we're really hungry. Okay, we're a bit hungry. We're mildly thirsty. We need some breakfast. Something wrong? Your mead tastes like water. Okay. Um, excuse me. If it's work you're looking for, hold us there to talk to her. Depends. Are you thirsty, hungry, both? Um, value. Let's see. Ugh. You know. Now, please. If food no is going to be this expensive, then I really need to get a job. How am I going to survive? Have you heard? If there's been another forsworn attack in the reach. Forsworn as much as men. The Jarl of Markov should come down with troublemakers. I would feel Kill. better about doing You're wrong, fool. work and getting They're bounties and things people. if I Calm feel down. more confident in my magic abilities. Matter? So let's ask her. Let's ask her, um They say the college has been snooping around Sartal. Mages in the burial crypt. No good can come of that. What? That can't have happened yet. Anyway, um, where can I learn more about magic? Speaking of mages... Magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Wow. Of course, there is Sparengar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. Wow. Okay. I'm mean going to else? pretend not know. to be offended by that statement. Just going to pretend you didn't notice my pointy ears. So Farangar is the wizard here, so he would be in Dragonreach as well. And we already have a quest to go up there. And it's raining again. So... Let's go up there, deliver this sword, and talk to Farangar. Maybe he can teach us something about magic. This place is very grand, isn't it? Hello, little boy. Nelkir. <coughs> Are you sick? I don't want to catch your illness. Oh. This guy looks very wizardly, doesn't he? Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Do I look like a great warrior to you? I guess I should take that as a compliment. Are you the only wizard here? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Um... Sure. I could use some recompense. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. Okay. Was that was that rude or whatever? Um Can how do you enchant weapons and armor? Ooh. What are the duties? Where can I learn more about magic, Sir Ferengar? A prospective student, are you? Yes. Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. Okay, how do I get there? Um, what are your duties? I'll put it simply, so you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in matters of magic. If the home is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. 
Um, goodbye then, I guess. Okay, he ended that conversation rather quickly, didn't he? Can I use this? Just curious. Disenchant. Oh. Okay, I don't really want to use this because I don't want people to think I'm a necromancer and it has like a giant green neon glowing skull in the front of it and I think that might be a bad way to rep represent myself. Just guessing. So I'm gonna disenchant it and then I can possibly put that enchant on something better that I find. So, alright. I could actually enchant my miner's boots or something, but no. I'm not gonna do that because Pretty. Yeah. And when I actually enchant something, it's not going to be 20%. I think that's the maximum um, or something. Because if, if I have a really good soul gem, then I would be able to do 20%. But uh, there's no way I'm going to find a filled grand soul gem right now. I have a couple tiny uh, petty ones, but... Let's just snoop around and see if he has any books we can read. Oh. He's got a lot of books. Legend of a Red Eagle, Rising Threat, Nords and Skyrim, Coin Purse. Not gonna steal from the wizard. Okay, where's this other dude that I have to give a sword to now? Excuse me, I'm looking for... Um, I think he's an Imperial. Think very carefully about your next move. Oh, you look awesome with that mod. I've got my eyes on Um, Ethereal Elven Overhaul, I think it's called? <laughs> I mean, she didn't look bad before, but... Mind yourself in front of the Yarl. She's all pretty now. Problems. Okay, if I see the Yarl, I will mind myself. Oh, there's a kitchen. Oh, tempting. Tempting. Well, you know, most people are still sleeping, so maybe the cooks are still in bed. Maybe I can, uh, you know, just take a bite of something. Ooh. Can I cook anything with my raw rabbit leg? I'm guessing I need salt. Yeah, it looks like you need, yeah, salt. So I'm gonna have to stock up on salt. is always the bane of my existence in this game. Okay, because I love the cooking and I love making all the food and stuff. Even though like I, I never use it to heal myself or anything, but obviously for role playing reasons. I don't know why I'm down here. This is this is definitely off limits. It's like the cook's bedroom or something. Like somebody should probably yell at Oh, hello. If you're you? looking for the court wizard, I'm not him. Farangar is the one you want. Well, you look like a wizard. If you wish to speak with him, you'll find him somewhere in the general direction of boredom. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's this invention called wine that requires my immediate attention. Oh, uh, wait a second. Can I just ask you a few questions? Uh, all right, if you must. As the Nords say, make it quick. Brevity would be my favorite word if it didn't have three syllables. Now, wine, that's a good word. Short, sweet, intoxicating. People love wine almost as much as they love whining. I'm one of those people. I can tell. Probably don't want to buy you prattle on like a scullery maid. <laughs> I prefer beer. You like wine? Sounds good, but it can vary. Wine's good. I mean, Ruby would know any. She wouldn't be a wine connoisseur. I mean, she's been a slave her whole life, and like, she probably doesn't even care one or the other. Um, that's rude. Ugh. I guess we'll just pretend to know what we're talking about. Really? Are you a wine expert by chance? In my youth, I once thought West Wales wine was the finest drink ever conceived. 
Imagine my embarrassment when I tasted my first vintage. This is why natives of the Isle look down upon those born on foreign shores. May I ask your name? My name is Elduin. I've come to Whiterun for the Skyforge and for Ferengar. You do seem to have an obsession with wine. I don't see that as a negative. My Nord friends often chide me for neglecting the rich history of Skyrim, as if I was ignorant of it. They say, you know, Elder, there's more to Skyrim than just alto and spiced wine. And I tell them, yes, yes, I know all about your windmills and bards and 12 different words for cold. I only care about the wine. Spiced wine, that does sound pretty good. What? That's the random question, isn't it? Where do you gather souls for enchanting? What does that have to do with wine? Uh, or did she say something about that and I just wasn't paying attention? Probably. Well, why the Skyforge and Ferengar? Do you have a crush Jordan on him? allows me to use his magical forge to craft jewelry. I use the enchanting table at Dragon's Reach to raise their value. Then I turn them around and sell them to Ferengar. And he always buys them. I've never met a man so obsessed with necklaces. He says their enchantments are valuable. I think he likes to wear them. Maybe tomorrow I'll enchant him a dress to go along with it. Hmm. That I gotta see. Well, I guess if you know about enchanting, I'd like to learn too. So where do you gather souls for enchanting? Caves are the best place to find packs of wolves, or bears, sometimes even trolls. Unfortunately, by myself, they provide a bit of a challenge. There used to be three other mages in my faction, a motley bunch to be sure. A Khajiit, a Redguard, a Nord, and myself. Group solely of mages sounds terribly imbalanced. You know it does. Who's gonna tank? I, I I think that is true. Four mages can be a formidable party, especially when their talents complement each other. As a result, I can afford to make mistakes. Mistakes like trading our last healing potion for a flask of wine. Not a problem when the Red Dark was there to restore my wounds. Thankfully, the one talent I do have serves me well. It turns out most feral beasts in Skyrim are susceptible to fire. Really, that's good to know. 